So what do you think of Ropesburg? It's uh, quaint. It's whack and you know it. Their number one crime is tricycle theft. There's a bakery attached to the precinct. Come on, Santiago. You never would have taken that job, so why'd you even care that they offered it to me? I can't help it. I'm competitive. I have seven brothers and I was the only girl. I always had to fight for a place at the table. Well, you're not the only girl at the table anymore. We work in a police force full of dudes. We gotta have each other's backs, okay? You saying you have my back? Yeah, I got your back. Don't smile, I'm still mad at you. I thought we were having a moment. Moment's over, shut up. So, what do you think? Mm, I don't love the sash, but it's fine. I'm just gonna get it. What? That's the first one you tried on. I once saw you look at 54 different accordion folders and not buy any of them due to weak tabs. I file hard. I need strong tabs. I just don't want to take up any more time. Your break's not even a quarter done. I'll stay another 10 minutes. You'll stay until I dismiss you. Irene, music. Now spin. You work the case, and hey, if you guys need any pointers on a cool high five or something, I could... Well, if you need suggestions, let me know. You thought you could distract me with a record deal? Please. I'm already represented by my mom. God, you're a turd. Well, this turd is your best friend's future husband. Doink! Hey, wait, no! Give that back to me! Oh, no! Mother, I said I never loved you, and that your whole family is a bunch of friggin' bull- Oh! Oh! oh. oh I broke a Never have I ever slept with a guy, broken his heart, hired him to play at my wedding, stole an illegally binding contract from him, jumped on a bar, dumped booze on everyone, fallen off the bar, probably giving myself a concussion, and a permanent scar. I have ever. Yeah. <laughs> Cesar, hey, you have a minute? I'm actually kind of busy right now. Right, harboring a fugitive. Should I come back? Or... <laughs> He's here and on the move. Gotcha. Oh. Ah. All right, Sergio. We've been waiting seven years to say this. Sergio Mendar, you're under arrest. That's why I owe you apostrophe R E. Can't believe you caught me. Won't believe it. We're an amazing team. For the Sleuth Sisters. Damn straight we are. Lame. Stay out of it, Sergio! The traffic is shut down. Civilians are being funneled into checkpoints. Good. I just wish my guys over here could be a little more efficient. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Detective Fuzzy Paws. Is this Amy hates dogs, Amy, or Amy extra stressed, Amy? It's both Amy's. I'm under a lot of pressure, and also that dog is a piece of trash. OK, until something else is going on, you don't have to pretend to be mad at the dog. First of all, I'm not pretending. That dog sucks. Also, my period's late. I think I might be pregnant. Oh, damn. I can't be pregnant. Jake and I agreed to wait at least a year until we tried. I haven't found an OB. I'm not on any preschool waiting list. And I spent all of yesterday in a room with Hitchcock and his new cologne, which can't be good for the baby. It is literally called Zika. OK, relax. You're probably not pregnant. It's entirely possible Hitchcock's cologne disrupted your cycle. Right, yes. That is a very real possibility. Santiago, uh -huh. what's going on here? Is everything OK? Yeah, totes. Right, Rosa? Uh, totes. Now, if you'll excuse me, detectives, I need to leave him a snide voicemail about kindergarten statistics. OK, we have got to explain this thing to Captain Holt to save their relationship. And you laughed at me when I went to that weekend-long math conference. Because you called it funky cats and their feisty stats. That was the name! It was so cool! It was not. Anyway, it's not about the math. They haven't seen each other because of the night shift. They just need a bone. What? Gross! Rosa, those are our dads! I mean, that's not what I think. Captain Dad is just my boss. Wow. Never mind. I'm teaching Father the math. Whatever, Rosa. Amy, stop. I've had enough water. I can hear it sloshing around inside you. I know, but I still can't pee. I'm too stressed. You need to calm down. You know what helps me relax? Kicking stuff? Absolutely. So, what or who do you want to kick? That guy looks pretty kickable. Hey! I'm not kicking anybody, OK? I just need, like, some calming noises. OK. Close your eyes. OK. Love. Blub. Blub. What is that? It's a babbling brook. Blub. 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 You know what? It's pretty good. Thank you. Everybody, shut up! Blub. 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 Hey, 
I saw you earlier. You weren't in the bathroom. You were on a park bench playing on your phone. Yeah, you left me to do everything while I thought you were pooping. I wish you were pooping. I wish to God. I'm sorry. Oh, Rosa, crying. Don't know what to do. Pat, Pat, this feels wrong. We put away figures three weeks ago. Mento should have been back by now. We had plans to meet on that park bench once the coast was clear. But he hasn't shown up. Maybe he's deep undercover, or he doesn't remember who he is, or maybe he's dead. Wow, thanks. You're right, my fiance is a total weirdo who's probably dead. I'll just give up on him and go do my paperwork. No, Diaz, wait, maybe he's just really, really injured. Come on, Amy. Is uh, everything okay, Santiago? No, I lost my ring. Did you see where it went? Actually, it's behind one of these three doors. Why don't you pick one? Are you trying to Monty Hall me? It's unbelievable. I don't need Monty Hall ruining my place of work when Monty Hall has already ruined my home life. Come on, sir. The math thing isn't the problem. Night shift's keeping you and Kevin apart. You two just need a bone. <laughs> what did you say? Don't say it again. I said you two need a bone. How dare you, Detective Diaz? I am your superior officer! Bone! What happens in my bedroom, Detective, is none of your business. Bone! Don't ever speak to me like that again. Why did you do that? Dude is pent up. Now he knows. Problem solved. <sighs> wow, five hours. This is the most exciting contest we've had. Of course, the incident last year was exciting, but we all know how that ended. No, we don't. Right, because of the gag order. Are you sure you want to keep doing this, Rosa? You really don't have to. My feet hurt a little, but I can go as long as it takes. Well, we're having a great time back here. I'll just tell my buddy Reggie here about this great salsa that I make. It's so mild, you barely taste it. That's it. I can't take any more. I'm out. Bye, Reggie. I'll send you that article about mailboxes. Please don't. Oh, my God. Teddy is boring people out of the competition, and he doesn't even realize it. Can't let him get to you, Rosa. It's fine. I can handle boring. We're friends. Ooh, guys, you will never believe who I saw at Bush Gardens last summer. My neighbor. Yeah, just walking around. Oh, Captain, I know you don't want to talk about Monty Hall, but I did contact a math professor. No need, Santiago. It's all good. So the fight with Kevin is over? Yep. Because you understand the math now? Nope. Because you guys... Yep. Knew it. See, what happened is your dad's had sex. Okay, Rosa. Ta-da! You made it sound like you fixed the toilet. Yeah, I thought maybe Amy would have pulled something together in the two minutes I stepped outside. Hey, Gina, look what I stole from the Barnes and... Oh my God, Rosa, I'm so happy to see you. Wait, are you covered in toilet water? Yes, big time, but this is happening. Ugh, oh, fine. I kind of feel like I'm lurking. Gina, get in here. Yay! I want an open line of communication with DOT and I want someone from the DA down here so we don't get cases thrown out. I need a pair of sweatpants and check again on that status update from ESU. All right, go, go, go! What do you need the sweatpants for? My water just broke, which reminds me we should be prepared to distribute emergency water and food. Your water just broke! You need to go to a hospital right now. I don't want a birth happening around me. It's way too gross. I'm nowhere near giving birth. I haven't even lost my mucus blood. Amy, you need to get the out of here. I'm sorry my baby grosses you out, Rosa. I'm excited to meet your baby when it's clean and wearing clothes and not blasting out of you like some half-Cuban Jimmy Neutron. I'm just at the start of my labor. I haven't even had my first contra- Was that a contraction? No. That was just a crazy yawn. Fine, look, I don't have to go to the hospital until my contractions are three minutes apart and last for at least 45 seconds. Yeah, but don't you need to go home and pack some stuff? Ugh, I'll be fine. Scully, you have a hospital go bag at your desk, right? Yep, what do you need? One day, three day, coma kit? I rest my case. Okay, your contractions are three minutes apart. It's officially time to go to the hospital. Not yet. Do you know how thin your cervix is right now? Yeah, I'm worried, so I started reading the book I found on Jake's desk. I do not want to be around when page 53 happens. Mm, Hank wants to know if we can cut emergency power to the third floor. Ugh, let me talk to him. Hey, if you page 53 in front of me, our relationship will never be the same. Make sure you don't look at page 214. What? Why? 